Mzee Mseveni, as I said, is our elder. We have tremendous respect for him. And we look up to him to now work so that we can eliminate the borders that separate our people in East Africa and in Africa. It is very clear to us that we cannot share poverty and we cannot share hunger, but we can share opportunity and we can share prosperity. It is our place as leaders and as citizens of the East Africa region for us to work together so that we can transform our borders, which today stand out as barriers and convert them to bridges so that goods, services, and people can move across this East Africa without any impediments. Your Excellency, as our elder, President Museveni, you have the challenge to lead the charge on ensuring that we bring down the boundaries and the borders and the barriers so that we can have a borderless East Africa community. We are looking in our lifetime, in the next few years, that people, goods, and services can move across this East Africa as we lead the way in ensuring that the Africa continental free trade area becomes a reality. I did instruct the Minister for Trade in Kenya to work with the Minister of Trade in Uganda so that together we can formulate and sign into the guided trade agreement that will facilitate the Africa continental free trade area to begin to become a reality and so that we can harness the opportunities for investment, for trade, and for people to work together.